Hi everyone. Today we're going to be reviewing the Hoover Wind Tunnel Whole House Rewind Upright Vacuum. We're going to be seeing how well this machine works on carpets and hard floors with a few different debris types. We're going to see how well the attachments work as well as testing other features on the machine such as the cord rewind. So let's begin with showing the included accessories and features of this machine. The whole house rewind packs a pretty good set of attachments including this articulating ceiling fan brush which you can bend back and forth for cleaning ceiling fans. This pretty thin tight crevice tool you can see just how small that is. This upholstery tool with little lint and fuzz strips right here and this expandable, you turn it like this, and now it will extend out, tube that can either be attached to the end of the hose, or you can put the accessories on the end of the extension for extra reach. So let's get into the filters and then into the cleaning performance. So this vacuum packs two filters. One is in the top of the dirt bin right here. You can wash this filter. This is the dirty side because that's where the air is coming up through the cyclone. Then the other filter on the machine is located right here. And this is a HEPA filter. You cannot wash this filter. It must be disposed of every year or so, I believe. And it sets in just like that. And you can put the lid back on. It's like so. So let's get into the cleaning performance to see how well this vacuum does at picking up some dirt. So test number one is to see how well the whole house rewind deals with some kitty litter on medium carpet. We have the height adjustment set to medium. So let's begin cleaning. See how well the machine performs. Take one forwards and backwards pass. It is pushing a bit in front as you can see. This is a very large and unrealistic amount of dirt. Height needs to go up one. That's better. There we go. It's a little bit too hard to push and it was snow plowing. That's better. It's still gripping and cleaning the carpet. But I can actually push the machine now. So that's good. So next we're going to move on to a few different debris types on the fitted carpet of my house. So now we're going to see how well the Hoover Wind Tunnel Whole House Rewind deals with some small debris, as in ground up wheat, some oats, and some goldfish crackers. Now it's set to the second highest height. All right, that feels good. Did an okay job, it pushed quite a few. See, about the small debris. And when I can see where I am, it looks pretty good. Very good job, very good job. As you can see, it was able to deal with that mess very easily. The only thing it did was it pushed the goldfish a little bit. So overall, I'm actually quite impressed with the job that the Hoover did. It was able to clean up. I'm gonna zoom in all the way and take a panning shot of the area we just cleaned. And as you can see, I sure don't see anything. It's all inside of the vacuum. So let's move on to hard floors. So now we have small debris as in the form of some cream of wheat. We have the ground wheat stuff, wheat bran I think is what it's called. We have oats and a couple goldfish. Pretty sure it's not gonna pick the goldfish up, but you know, why not give it a try? It's set to the hard floor sitting, let's go. Okay, did a pretty good job. 
I'm looking for scattering. Did about how I would expect. I did a bit better on the hard floors than I was expecting, actually. It picked up the debris without scattering. I'm looking behind the vacuum. I don't see anything back there. But as I expected, it did push the goldfish. But I, as I said, I expected that. So, you know, not the end of the world, right? So next, let's check out the attachments. So the Hoover Hole House Rewind comes with this flexible duster, which is perfect for cleaning things, such as the tops of this cabinet right here. You see the brush is able to reach in and clean up there. If you put it at a slightly less of an angle, it should be, yeah, there we go. Now you're able to get up there, don't remove any dust, cobwebs, and hair. And see there actually is some dirt on the brush. It's gonna be hard to see, but there is a little bit of dust on the brush just from that quick little cleaning right there, which is showing me that the brush is actually working and doing a pretty good job. So now we're gonna check out the upholstery tool. All right, so now we're going to review this little upholstery tool and see how well this works at cleaning this cat tree right here. So let's turn the machine on. As you can see it's able to pull up the fibers pretty well. Run it like this. It should be picking up hair as you can see it is. There is hair getting picked up. This was clean not too long ago so I don't expect there to be a lot of hair. But as you can see, it is picking up hair. And that's about all I can do for the test. It's about the hairiest thing I have in the house. But I think that's enough to show that it does work. As you saw, it did a pretty good job. So it's conclusion time. So overall, I'm quite impressed with the performance of the Hoover Wind Tunnel Whole House. This machine did a pretty good job on carpet. Did a better job than I would expect it on hard floors because it has an anti-scatter gasket. It didn't, well, scatter. It kept the debris in the brush roll long enough to be sucked up by the machine and not be blown back all over the floor like some vacuums of this design do. The attachments are pretty good. It doesn't include any pet-oriented attachments, but this is not a pet vacuum. So, you know, that's fine. If this was a pet vacuum and it didn't have an attachment, then I'd be, you know, a little annoyed. But this one's good. It has a decent attachment set. Pretty good cyclone. Better filtration than I'd expect. And overall, did a pretty good job on all the tests I put it through. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Hoover Wind Tunnel Whole House Rewind. I'll see you all in the next one.